So I decided it's time to find a place for the night. Elna Toblis, I'm in the National Forest, and um, I was following directions to a place on freecampsites.net and um, was hoping I could find a dry spot because people described it uh, as a really nice spot and uh, you see you mentioned that it had fire pits and stuff but <laughs> um, what I have run into is some pretty serious flooding I'll show you in a minute so here's a road and they actually um, kind of have it tagged for logging and as you can see the creek is running across of it and this is also tagged as an area you can't camp and this is on the road and at the bottom of this road there's a lake that has actually spilled over across the road I was able to get around it, but if it rains much heavier, I might not be able to tomorrow. So here's one of those logging trucks, and this is the only spot I found that is a little bit off the road and isn't like pure mud. Um, I'm considering just pulling in here for the night. I might go a little further, just check it out. I'd like to be on the other side of that lake, to be honest. So here's, oops, here's the lake. That has spilled over the road that I just crossed the spillover. So there you can see the interstate. And here's a pull off. I think I'm just gonna stay here the night. Put some gravel down in this little spot so I'm not quite on that loop. I'm gonna look on uh, my map and see if there's anything else close by that might be better. Otherwise, I'm staying here. So last night I actually um, ended up leaving the National Forest and I stayed in the Safeway parking lot in Williams. And today I came out um, to just south of the south entrance of Grand Canyon and camped out here in the National Forest. Um, I managed to find a spot that was a little bit drained, had to go through some mud, but Studley Van uh, handled it easily with his new tires. And there are a ton of horses out here. Whoa! <laughs> Goodness, they just ran right past me. <laughs> what a treat! He just ran within a few feet of me, made me dodge behind my van. Uh. Bit of a frosty morning.
<laughs> so beautiful. Look at that. It was so nice being snuggled down inside two sleeping bags last night. And I set this outside in the hopes of making ice. Here at the Grand Canyon. So I walked to Matha Point, but I'm not going to stick around here. There's a lot of people coughing. They're not covering their mouth. There are parents with kids coughing and the parents of drinking Budweiser and other beers at 9.30 in the morning. Spring break has begun. Hi there. So I'm at um, the Grand Canyon South Rim and uh, it is really busy. Um, I think that spring break has started, um, and, and I just made a. I stayed as far away from people as I could. I'm trying very hard not to get sick now. I would prefer to do it on my own time if I can do that. There's no guarantees, but I'm going to try. So, I uh, didn't mix and mingle with people very much. You can see it's very busy. Um, and I imagine the parks are actually going to get busier because they're closing so many of the schools and people are going to be home and <laughs> they've got to do something. And anyway, I'm in um, northern Arizona. I'm at the Grand Canyon, as I said, and I'm headed to Page and then into Utah. And there's plenty of places there I can be away from people. And that's where I'm normally at anyway at this time of the year. Um, so... Not a lot has changed other than I will just avoid large crowds like at the edge of the Grand Canyon at one of the viewpoints. There's plenty of other spots I can go. And um, I am windburn, a little bit red around here. Uh, cold and wind did that to me. So, yeah, gosh. Uh, I guess I need to get a tan around my eyes. How do you do that? <laughs> All right. That's it for now. This video will be out. By the time this video comes out, this whole thing's going to be over, and I may not even publish it. Well, the thing won't be over, but it will have more information. I think it's going to go on the whole year. Um, it'll just shift and change and become something different. Bye.
Good night, sweet sunshine. I'm back in Red Rock and Red Sand country. It feels kind of like home. There's nothing but bad news on the radio. This is when the coronavirus is uh, taken up because we finally have tests available in some parts of the country. Shutdowns and all that stuff are happening. I think it's like March the 16th. Not sure. I just checked and I got that date right. Woohoo! Um, I have packages waiting for me in Paige and I have another one to come so I'm going to wait before I pick them up. Um, I think I might just go and uh, go for a walk up there tomorrow morning. Looks pretty interesting, doesn't it?